we now see that the World Economic Forum is suddenly now coming out. This news is going to hit within about a week or two. The same how I presented here and I said that I've got word on the street that in China, the government is telling the people to buy cryptos. We were the first in the world to know that. Two, three weeks later, I took a lot of hits, two or three weeks. People said, where do you get your data from? Where's the link? Where's the news? Guys, the news, you don't find the news and articles. Otherwise, it's already news. But we want to know about the news before it happens. What did I say? I said that in China, our teams are telling us that the government officials are going from city to city, group to group, and telling people, buy cryptocurrencies. But it's not that they send a official notice out, hey, let's put it on our website. Chinese people buy cryptos. They don't do it like that. They are a lot smarter. So they tell people to buy cryptocurrencies bit by bit, slowly, a little bit at a time. Those people, many of them may get paid $40 a week, $100 a week. Some make $50,000 a week. But the majority of people live on a very small income. And of that small amount of money, they would buy $10 worth of NEO, whatever they're going to buy. We heard about that long before it happened. And then I said to you, have a look at NEO. NEO is one of the coins that the government have told them to buy. Little did we know that China have been telling the world that they don't like cryptos, they don't like Bitcoin, and they don't support it. But little did we know that behind the scenes they were accumulating. Word on the street is that China has got a wallet, a Bitcoin wallet, or, or not just see one single wallet, but but a feature where they group these wallets together that contain approximately 5 million Bitcoin. I cannot confirm that. It's one, in one of my reports. I heard it from people that are very trusted sources, so I have to believe it. When you now look at the World Economic Forum, the news is going to hit the street that they are in possession and controlling a whole bunch of cryptocurrency exchanges. As a matter of fact, I just heard today that the reason FTX, the exchange, is going to start operating again is because the World Economic Forum has a finger in the pie. That news is also going to eat the streets. Not now, months later. Now, we know now that, uh, and I don't know where the article is, but uh, you know, it's now news that a whole bunch of, of big funds have come together. We predicted in our algorithm data, the low of the market is 18 June 2022. They signed the contract on that date. They, at that point, was already busy developing the new exchange. I can't remember what the name is now, Wendy. I don't know if you can remember EDM markets or something like that. EDX. I think it's called EDX markets. Who's one of the biggest owners? Klaus Schwab. And when you go and read the documentation and you study a little bit further, the World Economic Forum owns a big percentage. So, guys, the good news is that the World Economic Forum, there's two things here, is entering the market. That is good news. The second thing is they're a little bit late. 